Happy Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Andy Ross. I'm one of the pastors at Northminster Church in Tucson, Arizona, and I have a devotional thought for you today, and it's about your family, your place in history. Um, in our schedule of readings today, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 10, Jesus gives some pretty stern warnings that as a disciple of Jesus Christ, your life will not be easy, and there will be times where you are tested, and others will test you, and you might be facing persecution. And so, the story of your life begins with what is what are your faith proclamations? What do you believe? And how are you willing to stand up before others, even if it's uncomfortable, even if you're receiving pushback for what you do believe? Uh, this little book uh, really made me laugh today. I saw it on my bookshelf. It's a tiny little book. And the title of it is all about Clan Ross, my family, the origins of the Clan Ross and their place in history. <laughs> these, these 23, 29 pages just say everything about my family and our place in history. Uh, there's, I think, three pages on our battle honors. So, enough about Clan Ross. Um, I, I may take a week off to read this, by the way. Um, I just want to say to you that Jesus' words in our reading today has special meaning for me. No matter what your family clan or family name is, it really boils down to what is your profession of faith, your worldview, your philosophic outlook on life. It gets to the core of who you are and how others know you. Jesus in our reading says, whoever acknowledges me before others, I will also acknowledge him before my Father in heaven. Whoever disowns me before others, I will disown him before my Father in heaven. One of the great privileges I have as a pastor is to welcome new members into the church family. And in the Presbyterian church, that includes baptism, or if you've already been baptized, it at least means standing before the congregation and publicly professing your faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I do not take that lightly, and it's such an honored role for me to assist others in doing that and in leading the church in prayer for our new commissioned members. Often I read that scripture. It is life-changing, and it's, it's the book on your life to profess before others that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. And so in the middle of this week on this Wednesday, don't be stressed about the size of your family book or how much is written about you. I think a key focus is who are you putting your faith in? Is it just yourself and the scientific workings of a material world? Or are you, put, are you putting your faith in something, someone far, far bigger who invents love and who gives us a mission of love in this world. If you are a Christian and you have professed your faith before others, how will God invite you to profess and state or mention your faith to someone today in a way that's helping, healing? Have a great Wednesday. May the Lord bless you as you live and journey onward in your faith and in your faith in Christ.